Nobody had the heart to tell me And we mended what you made While we stared into the flames Reading the leaves of our teas SF. It's gonna be the shortest trip ever. I just flew all day basically and it's Sunday and then I'm here all day Monday, all day Tuesday and then fly out like really early Wednesday. I just really wanted to maximize my time at home so I could spend more time with like my parents and my sister but I didn't want to miss out on this like work opportunity so I was like okay I'll just like do it but like really try to like take the latest flight out of Ohio and then the earliest flight out of SF. I think I'll have like a solid amount of two weeks time before I go back, go back to the West Coast and like work. I first go to the Bay again, and then I go back to Seattle. I'm gonna go. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm in the SF office, but I'm like kind of nervous because I don't really know anyone and I feel like I'm kind of out of the loop with Jennifer. But I came really early to do some work, like 7. I'm just like waiting until the last possible second to go down to the room. It's like 9 now, so I have to go. But yeah, I don't know. I'm like really scared for some reason. But I don't know. I think it's just because I feel like I don't know anything or what's going on. But I do, but I don't. But Whatever, I just have to do things that scare me and it'll be fine. Okay. I feel like I didn't even talk about this, but this was like one of the main thoughts that I was thinking the day that I got here was how I feel like traveling alone for me is so lonely and I'm so bad at it. And I just feel like even though I'm in a city that I'm familiar with, I still feel lonely. And like I have these plans to like go and do stuff by myself, but then I'm like, oh, should I just reach out to somebody that is here and I should like go hang out with them? But tonight my plan is to just spend the night alone. I think I'll be fine. I'm just gonna like, I don't know. It's like I look forward to these things, but then when I do them or maybe in anticipation before I do them, I'm like, just kidding, I don't wanna do it. But then when I'm doing it, it's fine. I don't know. I have to go back and work and do whatever everyone else is doing. I just wanna socialize. I'm just kind of escaping out here, but I'm gonna go back and yeah, tonight maybe I'll vlog whatever I, just, I don't know i haven't been vlogging as much which is kind of sad i feel like i want to maybe if i brought my new camera i would have but i was just too scared to use it because i know that my phone works so that makes sense okay too much rambling bye <laughs> Okay, debrief is over. I feel like I didn't really get to know this group of people as well just because it was only two days versus like four or five, which is how tech exchange was. And I'm not like as looking forward to making this vlog. I think it won't be as fun just because I wasn't as crazy, I guess, and I was just more tired and I just like, I don't know, kind of wanted to take a break, not really be as invested in stuff, we yada yada, whatever. Um, some other random thoughts. I feel like everyone that I talk to that's like in software engineering who's like involved with GIR or tech exchange like really just wants to be doing this work full time. And I feel like a lot of people want to be on this team, like the education equity team kind of like running these programs because I guess like a lot of people that are in tech like don't really want to be in tech anymore. And it's just interesting because I feel like I'm very lucky to be in the position I am where I get to work on this team at least for some part of the year. And then later on down the road, I could like be a GIR or a instructor for tech exchange. But it's like much harder to come by the opportunity I have, I think. And I don't know, part of me is like, dang, like I feel like anyone can do it, if not better than me, especially all these engineers. I think like, 
a part of me is like, dang, I wish I had their job. But ultimately, like, all of these people came from teaching or recruiting or whatever. And that's, like, not the background that I really wanted to have. And I wanted to prove to myself and to everyone that, like, I can be someone that works in tech. Like, I can be a woman leader in tech. And I feel like I am doing that. And every step I've made has been super intentional with, like, my career and just, like, I feel like everything that I've done, I've, like, intentionally did it. And so I shouldn't, like, compare myself to them and feel like I'm behind or feel like I'm not where I want to be like even though their position is kind of like a dream job for a lot of people like they're getting paid google salary doing like DEI really important work that's like really awesome and I think the programs that they're putting together are really awesome like it shouldn't diminish what I've accomplished and even if like that's the end goal that I want like I'll get there if I try hard and work at it but it's just like I didn't come from any of their backgrounds, you know? So it's, like, hard to compare. And I feel like I've been comparing myself, but I I shouldn't because I've done things that they haven't done either. I don't know. It's just weird to think about because, like, I feel like ultimately, like, their job is, like, quote-unquote easier in some ways, but also it's, like, harder in some ways. And, yeah, they get a lot of perks. And... I don't know it's it's just weird it's just like I wish this was what I would do all the time but at the same time like like I said I've done everything that I've wanted to do in my career and I feel like I just have to like kind of take it one step at a time and that's what I'm trying to do and that's what I've always tried to do I've never kind of like let life happen I feel like I always like try to take it into my own hands or like make the most out of it and make what I want out of it so yeah I feel like I'm just trying to like rationalize or remind myself that like I am kind of like where I'm, I want to be and where I feel like I'm trying to go and I, I'm i making steps towards it and that's like huge and I should be proud of that and I feel like a year ago, literally, yeah, like I was so discouraged because I just was doing like contract work with Girls Who Code and Liza was like, there's no space on our, like our team for you even though my dream was to work with like Liza but now it's like kind of like my dream is to work these people that I've got a taste of what it's like to work with them and I feel like who knows I'll be in a a better position a year from now and I'll be like oh my god my dream is to work with these people you know so it's it's all kind of like you feel it in the moment but things change and your mind will change and blah 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 so yeah I don't know I have more thoughts but I'll think about them and talk about them later I'm just about to get on this bus okay bye Yeah.